Ciao, buongiorno, buon pomeriggio, buonasera, wherever you are and whatever time it is in the world. Thank you for joining me as we cover today's live vlog of a really important fixture against Eintracht Frankfurt. It's the second leg of the Europa League round of 16 with a spot in the quarterfinals up for grabs. Am I confident? Nope. Do I think we're going to win? Nope. Do I think we're going to qualify for the quarterfinals? Nope. And I'll tell you why. You could call me a pessimist. You could say I'm negative. You could say whatever you want. But the injury list is huge. We're lining up with a host of players in the starting lineup that I never wanted to see in a starting lineup again. Fantonio crosses Candreva. will start on the right. Politano behind Keita Balde with Perisic on the left. So we've still got three good attackers in that lineup, in my opinion. Their midfield is where we are going to struggle. And that's because it's going to come in the form of Borja Valero and Matias Vecino. I really don't know what's going to happen there. And that's where we're going to lack. I think Cedric is starting on the right. De Ambrosio on the left. Those are our fullbacks for today. And our centre-backs are Skrinia and De Vrij. So it's going to be a tough one. I'm not too sure what's going to happen. But, you know, thank you for joining me. And I'm going to just try my absolute best to enjoy it. So a greeting from a beautiful morning here in Sydney. And one more thing. Ora abbiamo tradotta il nostro sito web in spagnolo italiano. Our website has just recently been able to reformat itself in both Spanish and English, so there's no excuse not to get the word out. Anyway, let's just hope for some sort of a, of a good performance from the ragazzi today. Mwah, forza inter per sempre. Boom. Oh no. Handanovic, save, crossbar. Wow. Handanovic with a save, and Frankfurt hit the crossbar straight away. Not a good start. It's just worth noting, Frankfurt have got about 15,000 travelling fans for this one, and we're only packing out 35 to 37,000. So you can probably hear their fans over us. I don't know why. Through on goal, Eintracht again. 1-0. 1-0 for Frankfurt. Bad start. So bad. So bad. Absolutely disgusting, to be honest. A big mistake from our defence in Stefan de Vrij. And yeah, apparently that's all it takes. That's all it takes for Frankfurt to take the lead. We need two tonight without a striker. <laughs> Done. Finito in the first five. Due zero per Frankfurt, only to be looked at for offside. And it's the right decision. Grande Candreva. Cross uh, numero quattro for the evening. Oh shit. Grande Candreva, cross in numero sei. No good. Handanovic, the only reason we're still in this game. Handanovic with a double save as they break three. I think it's De Vrij who made the mistake again. He's having a mare. He's having his worst, worst game in an inter jumper. Oh, he's been a little bit mistake prone as well this season. It's we're just against the back foot here, ragazzi. There's no inspiration, there's no fight, there's no nothing. There's zero. Ha finito il primo tempo, l'Inter 0, Frankfurt 1. Siamo poveri, we've been poor from the first minute. This club oozes mediocrity at its core. Ragazzi, we need to check ourselves, we need to be realistic. This is a shocking lineup here today. This is quite possibly the weakest lineup in the whole round of 16. You think we would even stand a chance against teams like Chelsea, Arsenal, Sevilla, Valencia, Napoli? Mate, Salzburg and Slavia Prague would rip us a new asshole. That is how poor we are. When you take out integral people like Nangolan, Brozovic, our informed striker Martinez, pff, Icardi, for fuck's sake, let's be real. We have so much work to do in this second half and we're not going to get it done. The creativity comes from nowhere. The build-up comes from nowhere. Today we were banking on getting lucky and it's the only way we're going to get through today. Second half coming up, but to be honest guys, we're out in my head. Introduction of uh, two of our youth players, um, Esposito and Marola. A 16 year old and an 18 year old. It's the only positive that we'll see today is getting our young players out there. Why Svaletti has subbed out Politano instead of subbing out Candreva, I don't know. He remains on the... 
Afinita, Linter 0, Frankfurt 1, unless something happens in the next three minutes, which, you know, couldn't give a shit anyway because it won't make a difference to the tie. So, before I let you guys go, before I head off to Bruno's and record this massive derby preview, hey, Pazzo Luciano screaming on the sideline like we've still got something left. Guys, even the most vocal of Spalletti critics, you can't say anything because no tactics would change this team. That team is 85% replaceable. We just found out today the hard way. Any interest that's still hanging on or clinging on to one little bit of hope this season. That squad is so bad. And Handanovic again. Handanovic again has just made an amazing save. You know, without Handanovic today, we lose that 4-0 in front of our home fans. It's been nothing short of disgusting. And, you know, yep. Yeah, Every single player on that team needs to check themselves as they're just simply unworthy. So many unworthy players, they drop their heads, the motivation's low. But hey, at the end of the day, this Eintracht Frankfurt side is a side that respects the competition, wants to play in the Europa League. We see it as a chore. Kandreva sees it as a chore. Di Ambrosio sees it as a chore. And then you get players like Ranocchia in there. I love him, but he sucks. Vecino and Valero is a joke of a midfield. Non-existent midfield. We needed to be eliminated today. We had to because now there's no excuses left. Now everyone sees just how shit and how bad things are. Marotta will stack Spalletti. Zhang will kick the team up the arse. We can blame everybody equally. We can blame Zhang for not investing in January. We can blame Spalletti for being a pussy. We can still blame Icardi for creating this shitstorm and leaving us hanging and not wanting to travel to the Europa League. And that's simply that. And then we can blame our management for thinking Raja Nangolam was worth the money. And then man managing him poorly, playing him through injury. We relied on him. He was the one signing to try and get us through the Champions League and get us top four. Real good management in that decision. Guys, stay with us. I could not be more angry, but at the same time, I was one of the fans that saw this coming. And I was one of the fans that thought, you know what? We're probably going to go out today. And if you think for a second that this team was going to finish in the top four with more Europa League fixtures, we would finish sixth, seventh, eighth. At least now we have one game a week to the end of the season. And I think there's still a while left. No excuses. Forza Inter, out of Europe. What a shame.